Hey, welcome to another PHP video on the credit card and checkout system. So in this video, we're going to take you beyond the credit card now and see what happens when we try to create a new order. So you can see in my cart, I've got three items. I actually have three items with a whole bunch of different quantities and the total price of $74. So if I go to checkout, it tells me that the first thing I have to do is register my credit card. So I've done this before, so I'm going to quickly try to go through here. Okay, so now the process that we're trying to do is how do we create the items in the database that will make this happen? So what I should be seeing in my database is a new item called order 107. So let's take a look here and I'm going to PHP my admin and I'm going to look up the tables. So first of all, orders. Let's go look at the orders table and browse. I'm going to scroll to the very last item and you can see that item 107 has been added. So the other table is called order details and let's take a look at what was put into order details. So scroll to the end and now we see that we have three rows here that all have the same orders ID. So each row in the database represents a row in the cart. Now just to show you the way that I designed my database, you can see why there are two different tables being written here. So we have the table here called orders and you can see that there's really not a lot of information in the orders table. It just has the order ID, date, and, and then it has a link to the um, uh, list over here which is order details. Order details has the actual content of our order. So it tells me about the product that was being ordered, how many where they were, the current price, and the description of the product. And so multiple lines get sent for order details for each order. So let's switch into the file called Process Checkout 2. And we're going to continue on programming at the bottom of the page. The first part of the page is all about creating a statement that says, you know, you've got yourself your credit card done we show a table that has all of the uh, details of your order in it. So that's kind of repeated code from previous assignments. But the new part here, we're going to start down at the bottom that says, I want to create the order and the order details in a database. And so what are we going to do to make that happen? Well, first of all, we're going to have to create the back end. So we have to create some functions to call that can be uh, handled at this level. So let's switch into the folder called model and I want to show you two different things that I've created. First of all, I've created an order object and I've also created a class called order details. Let's just take a quick look at those and you can probably duplicate these without too much trouble. So you can see that the class order has um, a bunch of properties that all relate to what you put in an order. We have a constructor to create new ones and then we have all the getters and setters. So that's uh, all there is to it. The order class is just basically there to save sets of data. The same thing with order details. Let's take a look in there. Order details is the same idea. So if you were to look in the database, you would see the uh, list of the columns that are the same as the properties of an order details item. And so the constructor is pretty straightforward. It creates all the objects uh, with their properties. And then the rest of the page is all the getters and setters that were automatically generated. Okay, so we know that we have an order object and an order details object. Now, what we have to do is to create a method to actually check out, I'm going to go to the um, order uh, business service. So now I'm looking at the uh, file here called order business service. And we're going to create a function called checkout, which will allow us to create a, an order with all the details that go with it. So we're missing the function right now. Let's take a look at what we have currently in previous lessons. We have the ability to create one order, update an order, get the order details, and we're going to make a new function. So let's just put some space in here and we'll call it checkout, how about? And when we check out, we're going to have to have two things. We're going to have to have an order and then we're going to have an associated cart variable or an array. So inside of here, let's put a description here. So, okay, so I'm gonna put some notes in here in comments so I know what I'm trying to create. So when I'm finished, I am going to have a new line in the orders table and likely to have multiple lines in the orders details table. 
and those two have to be an atomic transaction. So make sure that they both happen together or they fail. So we are going to need to use the uh, function called new item or create new item inside of the order data service. So then if you think of the second requirement that this function is going to do, it is going to be calling a function in the data service as well. It's going to probably need a function called add details line. So add details line would simply insert a new line in the details table. I don't think that one exists yet. I, th I think we have new item, but I don't think we have this one. So I'm going to stop this video here, and it's a good break. We're going to take the time to do the add details line in the next video.